I've been learning a new smart contract programming called Sway. So in this video, I want to share with you how to deploy a simple Sway contract on the testnet. What we're going to do is compile this contract, deploy it, and then interact with this contract. To deploy this contract, we're going to need the Fuel Wallet. So I'll show you how to install this into your browser. We're also going to need some testnet coins, so I'll show you where to get it. Okay, so first, let's install the wallet. To install the wallet, you'll have to download a Fuel Wallet, and this will download a zip file. I've already installed this wallet into my browser, so I won't go through the step of installing it. So once you unpack this zip file, the next step is to install this as an extension into your browser. So to do that, you'll click on the browser menu and go to extensions. Once you're inside extensions, here I have my Brave browser open and I'll enable the developer mode. Once you do that, you'll see a button called load unpacked. You will unpack the zip file that you just downloaded and then click on load unpacked and then select the folder that you just unzipped. This will install a fuel wallet inside your browser extension, similar to MetaMask. Once you install this wallet, the next step is to get some testnet coins on the faucet. Navigate to the faucet and I'll put all of the links in the descriptions below. You will open your wallet and then paste the address and then paste your wallet address in here and click on give me ether. Once you have some testnet coins, for example, Inside my wallet, I have 0.499 testnet ETH. So once you have some testnet coins, let's go back to the Sway playground. We will compile this simple contract, deploy it, and then interact with it. First step is to compile this contract. Okay, and the contract compiled successfully. Next, let's deploy this contract. We'll click on deploy, and then confirm the transaction. Okay, once the contract is deployed, again, this contract is deployed on the testnet. To be more specific, it's deployed on beta3 testnet. So let's try calling the function called increment count. But also let's check what this code does. So if I scroll down, increment count, it looks like it will increment the count by the input and then return the current count. Now, before we send a transaction to actually update this counter, we can dry run it. We can simulate the transaction. So what I'll do is, let's say I'll put in the number one, two, three, and then call. Okay, once I click on it, I'll see a response in hex. You can check for yourself that this hex turns out to be one, two, three, the amount that we put in as input. Let's actually run this as a transaction. So I'll disable dry run. And then now we're live, so we're going to be sending a transaction and call and then confirm the transaction. Okay, and our transaction was successful. Let's check our transaction using the block explorer. So what I'm going to do is copy the address of my wallet and then now head over to the fuel explorer and then paste my wallet address. Click search. Okay, so this shows the information on my wallet. Scrolling down, I can see the list of transactions that I submitted recently, including the transaction that we just sent now, which will be this one. So this was a quick example of how to deploy a Sway smart contract on the beta 3 testnet. In the next video, I'll show you how to deploy the Sway smart contract using the terminal. Furthermore, in the upcoming videos, I'll show you how to write simple smart contracts in Sway, and then we'll write our test using Rust SDK.